golfers. Today I'm going to share with you two moves that make your golf swing easy and simple. Two basic moves. One for the backswing, one for the downswing. These allow you to get repeatable consistent strikes and straight golf shots. This will improve your game no matter what golfer, what issues you have, this will help. So we're talking two, let's call it basic moves that are going to help you play. First one I'm going to talk about is how we pivot correctly in the backswing and we're going to simplify that even further. What we find with a lot of golfers when they make their backswing is they get a little bit mixed up in how their shoulders should work. What I want to talk about today mostly is the fact that this lead shoulder should work across towards the golf ball. Now, a lot of golfers, a lot of YouTubers talk about getting the shoulder to work down and it does work down, but it's also got to work across. What we see with a lot of golfers that try and work the shoulder down, they tend to get too much what we call left bend and they don't shift their pressure or their weight, whichever way you want it to describe, enough behind the golf ball, which then causes issues in sequencing. It can help you strike the ball better for sure if you don't shift across and your shoulder goes down. You're pretty much guaranteed to get your low point in the right spot, but you're pretty much also guaranteed to get your path and plane coming across the golf ball, causing pull shots and slice shots. So not many people want that. Now, if you're hitting the ball fat and thin, you might say to me, give me strike first, and that can also help you, but it's not what I would recommend. So what I'd like you to do, if you take a club initially, put it across your chest and take your setup, feel that your shoulder turns behind the golf ball. It moves down and across. And ideally we want to feel this happens with the whole of your thoracic spine. So making sure that we're allowing our body to move, breathing will help us move more effortlessly, but we're trying to feel the shoulder moves down and across and behind the golf ball. And this is the first concept we're going to look at. Can we make a correct turn behind the ball? Ideally what I call a recruited turn, which means the shoulder blades and the thoracic spine move in harmony. It's not just shoulder, but the shoulder is definitely moving down and across. That's point one. Let's go ahead and hit a shot with that as the only thought and focus. And a great shot there, sweet and straight. All I thought about there was turning behind the ball in that recruited turn, shoulder down and across, and then committed to hit the ball. That's point number one. Start with that, now let's go to point number two. Point number two, shift. We need to shift our pressure back. Major important, I've done a few videos around this idea, because it's crucial. If we don't shift, and ideally, lower half leading the shift, we won't get that club to present itself to the ball correctly. I see so many golfers, when they hit the golf ball, either try and rotate too early, or keep the pressure on the back foot, or move the pressure to the back foot, that causes so many issues in controlling the low point of the swing. If they do manage to hit the ball successfully, they tend to hit it with a lot of dynamic loft and produce weak, terrible shots. We want to make sure from the position in the back that we've achieved that we get this lateral separation. So the lower half moving across, shifting our pressure up to about 80% of its pressure at the point of contact back across. We want to move, if I put my club here, we want to move our pelvis to that club and our thigh and our knee. Ideally, what would happen in the downswing, it would move across. And then as we start to get close to the ball, we start then to move up. So the pelvis would move up as we hit the golf ball. Potentially a little bit down in the downswing and a little bit up in the through swing. That's what we want to see, but it's definitely moving laterally across. Shift big, get the pressure over to guarantee you get the right sequence in your downswing. But also, we get that low point in the right spot and we get those crispy strikes. Let's have a go doing one of those now. With the focus being on, shifting big, laterally across. So my only focus there was commit to moving my tailbone, my bell buckle across, making sure that I shifted that pressure as much as I could to that forward side to commit to getting good contacts. So with, there you have it, two swing thoughts to make the golf swing effortless and easy. Left shoulder down and across in the back swing, hips across and up in the through swing. Give those two a go to play great golf.